Hello and welcome to Face Off tonight. I'm glad you can join us from wherever you are in the world watching us, whatever live stream or by terrestrial television in the UK and all over the world. Thank you for joining us. My name is Olu Phillips. Today we'll be looking at biocellship or biocell governorship elections, which comes up in a few weeks from now. And uh, in a few weeks from now, like I said earlier, the country's political attention will shift temporarily so to biocell state where the governorship elections are scheduled to be holding. Already as a build up to that date, there's been a lot of interesting twists from the sudden support given to the incumbent by the former president and his wife, talking about Dr. Gulag Jonathan and his wife supporting the incumbent um, governor, to the primaries conducted by the opposition, which was initially marred with accusation and counter accusation to the emergence, finally, of the former governor, Timmy Priya Silva, who will now be flying the flag of the all progressives congress at the heart of whatever may be considered to be the bone of contention is the question of how well governor Sarah k dixon had performed on tonight's show we want to know why the apc wants his job and why the incumbent is fighting to keep same i have two guests that i'll be introducing to you shortly after we come back from this break stay tuned Last week, our attention was, uh, uh, was down south-south, and we will remain with south-south. As far as this week's edition is concerned, we're looking at Bielsa elections. Who the cap fits? Like the song says, let them wear it. Um, the battle will be basically between the all progressives and the People's Democratic Party, who happen to be the incumbent. That's the topic we're looking at today on Face Off. And my guests, very lovely names. I like names. He's, um, to my right, he's an APC chieftain. Bri Bina, maybe. Thank you, Lufi Lewis. Yep, Hello, you're welcome. Bro. And uh, to my left is another um, chieftain, but this time around he's the special assistant to the Bielsa special State. Advisor. Special advisor to the Bielsa State Government. He's Don Evarada. Thanks for having me. Gentlemen, your party, which you represent, I'm going to give you 20, 30 seconds to open with your speech. Your party that you represent, want to sit at the government seat at least for the next four years. You want to keep your job as the special assistant. Special advisor. Special advisor. You advise what? On public affairs. Public affairs. Your first shot. Thank you, Ruth Phillips. Um, for us in APC, we've gone through the rigors of democracy, gone through the primaries, and um, internal democracy has come to play, and um, we have gotten a candidate for the forthcoming election in, in December 5th. And we are good to go. We are ready to take over by other state. I like that. Yeah. I, you are smiling like you are happy he's going to take your job. Oh, he just uh, failed in starting the right because I believe one thing is obvious. By essence, have spoken. It's not just me reiterating what the people are saying. By essence, is saying this governor has done so well in the area of education, security, infrastructure, etc., etc., etc. That's why By essence is saying, let the wet of the governor speak for himself. Wait a minute. What about the other person that wants to contest with the governor? Has he a record of success? That's the story we're here. Don't worry, face off. I'm ready for him. But at the end of the day, I believe we will come to PDP almost instantly here on site. Uh, Phillips, it's not by shouting and raising your voice and talking loud if and If you fast. win the argument by shouting, the, go ahead. The, the fact of the matter <laughs> is that um, the governor has done well according to the standards of those in PDP. For us in APC, we are beyond doing projects that are minute and minor, projects that are not compared to projects that are of world class. So we are coming to take over from where Tim Pro Silver stopped. Now, in the time of Silver, he had gone through lots and lots of pressures. Number one, pressure from the fact that he was running a government that he didn't have total control of. We had a president that nominated and enforced some set of officials to him. Do you have his, proofs to this? Oh yes, including his cousin. You know, every statement you made on you make oh, on yes. this station oh, yes. has to be substantiated. Yes, substantiated. Otherwise, we are not going to be able to do it. Will, it will not counter me. I, I tell you the truth, <laughs> including his cousin, Dr. Irwani, who was commissioner for health. You know, are they not all by all sons? They are all. Are you not working for they're, the They are all by all sons, but you know, like we, we have an example now in, in 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 APC where Buhari has the prerogative to choose who he wants to work with. So you can blame him or praise him for his failures or successes. But we have a situation where you are imposed 
with people that you do not wholeheartedly expect to work with you. Okay, that's, you that, that's what that's, killed your... Yes, yes. Your, your, the situation your party candidate's ambition or his processes. In, in his time, there were some, there were some, some issues, you know, and that came about with this fact, you know, where you had a situation whereby the president from your state will nominate eight of your, your commissioners, another person will nominate eight, and you have eight. A situation whereby you are imposed to do what you ought not to do. You know, so th those are some of the things that happened. You know, in the time of uh, Timpe Tim Silva, there were lots of pressures on him. Lots of pressures on him. Which he bowed to? Which eventually he, he was forced out of office because of the fact that he refused to heed to their calls. Are you smiling it's on record. that's true? It's on record. I am smiling. It's on record. The president himself said, I removed Timpe Silva. It's on record. It's on national record. He, that he said so? He said so. I'm telling you the truth. You have proofs. There's proof. He said it. It's on record. That he removed the it's former governor. It's on record. Yes. He said it. Interesting. He said, I removed him. Mm. That's what he said. Beautiful. And now he's coming again Beautiful. to tell us. It's, it's, it's important coming again to, to tell us that this we will return Hold Dixon it. Hold it. because we don't, want, we, don't, we don't want him to be disgraced. Hold it. Is that the reason why a governor should be in position? Thank you. Very important. He had just succeeded in telling by essence and indeed Nigeria, the global community, that one thing is this. That there was a monumental insecurity in Bayesa State. Bayesa State was rated as the most unsafe state in this country during the five years of the Holocaust of Timmy Prince Silva as a governor. You and call I'm, it Holocaust? Yes, I said Why so. do you call oh, it Holocaust? Because you know the was, of yes, I know. A Holocaust. I know what Holocaust means. Massacre. Mean. Yes, it wasn't just a massacre. Can you prove massacre that? Massacre of the people of Bayesa State. How? And they had the part that you see in, at the least number of 10, 15 corpses on the seats of your neighbor. And that's the government. That I'm coming, I'm coming. Please, untrue. can you listen to me? I have said in Bayesa for 15 years. This is very years. important, mm. gentlemen. I think Bayesa is Bayesa as a state. Bayesa is just about... Um, 21 years. Okay. Old. I've stayed by for 15 years. And he is saying right that from, right from the year 2000, make sure that there was insecurity. I am saying that right there was from the year 2000 governor, till date, I've stayed in Bayelsa. There were security issues. Me. Remember, in the Not time of the state was, was the height of the militancy. <laughs> you cannot have <laughs> abrogated. You cannot have abrogated every violence because there were no secrets in the state. Do you have any proof that this Silva ordered the massacre of people? I am saying the records are there. You don't have any proof. Have the passport. Please listen to this. This is very you important. You don't have any proof I am that he massacred people. Fact. Let us take so it to the fact. You cannot say that. The you cannot fact say that you started by saying that President Gulo genocide imposed decisions on Silva. And I'm asking a fundamental question. Was it the reason that by such a dying in their numbers, a sitting president asked a sitting governor to impose decisions on some question. Thing, to kill citizens from the state? That's what President Gulo genocide did? No, he didn't. The, the fact is this, mm. Silver mm. did not order people to be killed. Are you aware of Fontangbe? I'm aware of Fontangbe. What did Fontangbe Listen do? to me, but my, my, Olu, Olu Jacobs, Olu Philip, sorry. There are three basic needs, universal basic needs. As stipulated. Number one, food. Mm. Number two, shelter. Okay. Number three, clothing. You miss. We have South Africa. South Africa. Excuse me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. South Africa. South, 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 South Africa yeah. has the highest rate of violence worldwide. Mm. Brazil is next. Violence in Brazil and South Africa are higher than even what happened in Bayelsa. And they are developing. These are third world countries. What am I stating here? There may be some level of insecurity based on the situation on ground at that point in time. <laughs> when the height of militancy which caused lots of problems even economically, and this man waded through, and this man had impositions from the presidency concerning his governance. There was no policy or no item that went in Bayelsa State that there was no interference from the, from the state as in, in, no, in no, Abuja. But, but I mean, I, I, my contemplation would be that if, um, I, this is not like speaking for him, but my contemplation would be that if, if there's insecurity in the home state of the former president, it will not go well for him to continue to, in one way or the other, continue to instigate processes that will make sure that that continues. I'm just... That's the president? Yes. You will not perform to instigate? Yes. Now, the issue is this. The security situation yes. in Bayelsa State... Somebody was responsible as the we, number one citizen Are there. we aware, which it has never happened, that Tim Prince Silva mm. is the initiator of this amnesty program that we're enjoying now. Tim Prince Silva wrote the first memo to President Yaradua. So I this I will not, I will I will If this man is a violent person, I am drawing oh, no, 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 no. this man, listen to me. If this man is a violent person and he loves insecurity, why will he be the one to initiate the amnesty program? Timber Silva was the first person that witnessed the delivery of arms by these ex-militants. <laughs>
Yes, there were some issues of security in his time. Oh, but oh, are you going to arrogate it to him? Oh, let me tell you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The same person, there was somebody, let me tell there was somebody in charge. Simple, there was somebody in charge as SS security. The same person is frolicking with the present oh. governor. Oh, that's, that's the same person is destabilizing the point we're saying is very simple. No, if there was security and somebody was in charge, you as an incumbent governor now, who have you arrested? Who have you indicted? Can, can I Who have you prosecuted? We've raised some questions, Holy. but on security and um, docility in terms of arrest and arresting the situation. Beautiful. Number one, he said the fundamental things in life about food, shelter, food, and, shelter and, and clothing. And I'm saying that it's not in tune with the reality of time. One, the critical element we need in any functional society for is security, peace, and stability. And that's what we're saying. If you're a governor or a president, at whatever level you operate, the first thing you do is to ensure they have a serene environment. We had a governor in place. A governor who ensured that every household would donate forcefully their own children and works to engage in acts of criminality and cultism. I am saying it was in those five years of the Holocaust, which I say without apology, all it, no, that, that young true. men and women in no, the state were say, you cannot say what you people. Say, and I will quite quiet for you. Our you you said a brother. family, a governor would yes. tell families no, to donate. No, you did not hear what I said. Please listen no, to me. No, I heard what you so said. So I can counter Let's me right. Rephrase. Listen to me. Rephrase. I said in the five years of the Holocaust, there was a sitting governor. I, I think you need we to that one. No, 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 no. I will not accept that was Holocaust. I will not accept that was Holocaust. This is the language. This is the language in Bahasa State. This is the language in Bahasa State. This is the language in Bahasa State. 